Could oh. you imagine what would have happened to you if you'd done that? Yeah, probably blown up. Probably blown up. Coin wants to know, how does such a simple plumbing repair become so potentially dangerous? Mm -hmm. You know, there are a few things more aggravating than a clogged toilet. And when you need a plumber, you need a plumber. So our Dan Tilkin looks at why a Salem man thinks a plumber was trying to take advantage of his urgent plumbing problem. Dan? Well, you see this uh, hinges on a text message from the plumber to his employee about an underground pipe. This is the text message right here. You see it says, break it right there. The question is, why? You'll see it almost led to disaster. Why do you have a hole in your driveway? Uh, that's a very good question. Joel Kinney had that situation everyone dreads. Even though he's a contractor himself, he called this company Ruderite, also known as SalemRooter.com, to unblock his sewage line. They came out, they were supposed to scope it and just run a, a snake down it and unplug it. And they told us that, the, uh, that they kept breaking blades, that there was some separation in the pipe, there was all sorts of problems. So this was your first day on the job? Yes, yeah, first day that I was with them. And last? And last. David Hildago was hired by Ruderite off Craigslist and was left alone at the Kinney's house. David says he was told by this man, Mike Lima, who owns Ruderite Plumbing with his wife Chloe, to dig down to the sewer line. And when I got down to the green pipe, I, I gave him a call, hey, I'm down to the green pipe, and what do I do from there? He like grabbed the jackhammer and just break it. So I'm eating lunch on my break, and he comes and knocks on the door, and he says, hey bro, can I talk to you? And he brings me out, and he goes, I think they're scamming you. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He told me to break your pipe. So I, I tried to break it with the, with the shovel at first, but then he just kept calling and calling, and I was like, this doesn't seem right, you know? Yeah. Why would he keep calling just for a pipe? David says that's when he got an alarming text message from Mike Lima. Why does your husband send this text to the day blaver? I read it to Chloe Lima when she asked to meet us in a park for an interview. When he not outside, break it. If he ask, tell him it's a bad pipe and it got some break in it. But break it when he not around. Okay, don't say anything until you break it and you're going to call me and let me know. Correct. Because in our experience, it's alarming and unsafe to have a homeowner around when a pipe is broken. Alarming and unsafe? Correct. This man's a contractor. He's used to doing things like that. He's, you think know, he's gonna be... I don't know his personal experience. So you're saying that you are telling him to break the pipe when the homeowner's not around to save them emotional trauma? The pipe needed to be broken in order to access the pipe to make the repair and to do further determinations on the sewer line. You expect me to believe that you're telling your guy to break the pipe when they're not, allow they're not around to save them some sort of emotional trauma? Well, it's unsafe as well. How is it unsafe? Because there could be flying debris and we're also dealing with sewage. Well, if there's flying debris, shouldn't your worker have goggles and a hard hat and some sort of safety protection? Yes, he, he should. And remember that green sewer line? Look more closely. A sewer line should have a much greater diameter. And I'm like, did he tell you to break the gas pipe? I didn't know that was a gas pipe. He'd been trying to break our gas pipe. If that would have hit with all the sparks from this river rock, he would have been vaporized. Yeah, probably blown up. That was a gas line. Correct, he was not instructed to remove a gas line. How was he supposed to know? Did you train him properly? When, when he applied for the position, there, there is questions that are asked, and he informed us that he was knowledgeable to do the work. We also wanted to ask about this mug shot. It's Chloe's husband from when he pled guilty in 2007 to insurance fraud in California. What was he busted for? I don't know the story, I wasn't there. You're his, you're his wife. You don't know the story? Okay. I'm going to end the interview now. I appreciate your time very much. I just think when people see what happened and then find out he had a conviction for defrauding people, they're going to wonder what happened. I can't thank him enough for stepping up. and I, he's, a, he's the hero in this whole thing. We would have never known. All right, so what happens now? Yeah. Well, the Oregon Construction Contractors Board, they're investigating this case 
and another case. So Dan, what can you do to avoid problems like this? All right, in both Oregon and Washington, you can check a contractor's history. If you go on our website at coin.com, we have links to do that. Another big piece of advice, ask your friend, hey, you know a good plumber? Yeah. That is one of the best pieces of things you can do. Also, um, what really important to do, get a second opinion. But you know, you know how hard that is? Your, your toilet's clogged yeah. and you're going to call you, for a second you opinion. You want something cleared yeah. up right away. Yeah, exactly. But the, the scary thing here was that was a gas pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Break and the he was gas hitting pipe. it with well, the Well, he told him to do it with a jackhammer. Break it with yeah. a jackhammer. Mm. Incredible. Wow. Yep. Keep right, us Dan. posted on this. I know you're still looking into yep, it. Yep, we are. Mm -hmm. Hey, and if you have